I'm back again. But I was just thinking about something. Um, I wanted to talk about something because when I had to research on the internet, it's really hard to find anything. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm researching, the first thing I'll hit up is YouTube. And uh, YouTube didn't have much on this, so I ended up um, basically forum scrounging. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about Levomisol and Camelanus worms because I have seen people treat a couple different ways on YouTube and uh, things like that but there are clear instructions on this and I'm gonna be treating and dosing this tank again um, soon like as soon as as soon as my as soon as the new ram here uh, my new Bolivian as soon as she feels at home enough then you know I'll dose again but I'm letting her get acclimated in here she realizes everything in here is friendly. They're all nice except for this guy. He's a stupid jerk. This guy's a jerk. Look at this dude. He's such a jerk, man. He's about to do something jerky right now. But, um, <clears throat> as you can see, um, pandacories, pandacories everywhere. The koi platy back here that had. A cloudy eye that's healed in a couple of days just from a little bit of Melifex and some water changes. Plants, everything looks fine. You see my little mystery snail, the little purple one that eats my plants. Um, it's fine. Siamese algae eater, considered scaleless, right? Uh, it's fine. Little baby fry everywhere, they're fine. Honestly, when I treated for Camelanus, I really thought that. Um, I, I read horror stories like, oh, well, all, all your snails are going to be dead. I treated and I woke up and I had 200 Malaysian trumpet snails dead and this and that. No, they're fine. My little, uh, if it'll focus, my little one ram's horn that you can't see from this angle. Uh, he, it's fine. But, I mean, everything's fine in there. The... The little babies in here, they're like back there everywhere, somewhere. It just it's not really focusing because it's dark. Um I have two lights. They're both on timers. <clears throat> my my bright one that's all the way maxed out bright. Um it comes on about eight hours a day and it flips back off. My other one, which is lower light, stays on like Pretty much forever um i work overnight so this one comes on about 3 30 in the afternoon so that i can see them before i go to work and it shuts off about 8 30 or 8 in the morning so i can see them when i get back home in the morning because otherwise i might wake up and not really see them or i might get, come home from work and not be able to see them and i, I want the light on in case something happened or something dies or if there's a problem i want to see it this light's low enough that they can relax and they'll be up in the corners and they'll be asleep and stuff you know they'll still sleep with this light so it's it doesn't bother them and um sometimes my lower light running for a long time i've wondered before like uh well is it going to make my plants leggy but with the powerful light for a few hours and then the lower light for longer hours for viewing um, it doesn't seem to negatively affect anything sometimes I will turn the white down a little bit and just let it be pretty like this or the green one I mean they're real pretty but I want the plants to have a little more light I want to be able to see a little better if I keep the white off and just the color like that um, they'll sleep a lot more. But anyways, I'm going to retreat this tank with level my cell again. And, uh, I might even video it because I know that it's hard to find stuff on level my cell. But, the Camelanus worms, like I was talking about in my other video, look like a little red, um, spike or, like, almost like a 
blade of grass, like real thin, like a little needle point. That would be red. There'll be one or two, and they'll be hanging out of your fish's butt, basically. <laughs> and uh, if you see that, they've already had them for a while. But what happened was when I saw that in my Bolivian ram, they had two spikes hanging out. And it wasn't this ram. I lost my ram. Um, during Christmas traffic time, um, I had to go online, and I went to Subaquaria on eBay, and I ordered this eleven my salt pouch. It's about like about like twenty bucks and some change and a little bit of shipping. But I mean it's well worth it. This is the HCI formula, which is ninety nine percent pure. It's water soluble. And um that's what I got. <clears throat> it's light sensitive. You can't open this pack and just leave the pouch open. You have to reclose it. Once you open it, it's got a little baby scooper inside. A real teeny tiny little, I mean it's tiny, little tiny baby scooper in there. And it tells you clearly the dosage. But you see where this tank is 38 gallons. But it's not strictly 38 gallons. I mean, there is so much gravel in here banked up. I mean, you see how high this gravel is, and there's uh, a big Mopani driftwood in there. I mean, there's a ton of gravel. It doesn't look like it on video. There's a mountain back there. If you look at it straight on, it's a big mountain. But So with this much, I mean, I, I'm sure I don't have 38 gallons. I probably have more like 30 or 35. I have a two and a half gallon bucket, and if I take about four buckets out about half the water's gone so i was a little bit worried like how much do i dose so i looked at 30 gallons says seven scoops or 1.0 grams i don't have a gram scale i just use the scooper 40 gallons of water says seven and a quarter between seven scoops and seven and a quarter that's not much now wondering if seven and a quarter would be overkill i looked at the other gallons 15 says three and a half 20 gallons says three and a half. There's no difference there But that's because it says a difference in 0.5 or 0.6 grams But if you can use three and a half or three and a half scoops for that And from a 25 to a 29 jumps a lot But look at the jump from 29 to 30 gallons six and a half to seven. That's a half scoop Then it only goes up a quarter So I figured Seven and a quarter scoops probably wouldn't hurt, but to be safe, I did seven scoops. Now, I didn't level them off. I didn't, um, you know, get the heaping scoop and then scrape off the top to get level. I didn't do that. I just shook it and tried to get as level as I could. So it could have been slightly under seven or slightly over seven. But either way, that's how I dosed. But what I did was... And you can't even see under here, it's so dark. I took my extra aquarium background stuff and I taped them across the front. I taped one around this side and then I taped a black plastic bag that I did have as a background and I taped it from around the back side to here because we have a window here during the day, a little bit of light gets in, not much. But I mean, love them I saw. Some people treat their tank and they don't do this, but it says clearly Feed them like you normally would. Remove carbon or UV lights or purigen if you have it. Doesn't say that, but it says do a 50% water change. I did pretty much half the water. Add the powder to your aquarium. Keep the lights off 24 hours. That's important. This stuff uh, is killed by light. Light just disintegrates this stuff. So if you treated your tank with the lights on and just left it in there, I mean, you may or may not kill stuff, but I mean... From what I've read, I've read two different things. I've read that it kills these worms, and I've read that it just paralyzes them. But it seems kind of like maybe it kills them because they've been pooping out these little strings. I've been removing them. They look like this. When I find stuff like this, I remove it. You're supposed to... That's why the 75% water change says, but now... People say vacuum them up the worms out of your substrate when you find them, but I mean, look at this tank. <laughs> I mean, 
you can only see what you can see. So you just have to vacuum as well as you can while you do the 75% or whatever percent more over half. Just make sure you do over half percent when you're done, like 50%. Do like change half your water, wrap stuff around the tank. If you have lights on a timer, switch them, turn them off and make sure that they're not going to be on for 24 hours and dose. But the snails did fine, Corey's did fine, everything did fine. Only my Nerite snail laid on his back for about a day.